Hello everybody and welcome to a new video on the Power Drift YouTube channel where you find me behind the wheel of a Volkswagen Tiguan once again. Now you've already seen our first look video and you might be wondering why we are driving this again. And that's because that that we drove at the first drive, which was nearly two months ago. Time really flies, doesn't it? That was the 1.5 litre version in both the manual and the automatic. This is the 1 litre version and if we are to believe what VW says, this obviously is the more popular version because it is the more affordable version. So, as you know, Indian public, very, very price sensitive and that's why people are buying this a lot, lot more. So, I called up VW and said, look, I want to drive the most basic engine and gearbox option, the 1 litre with the manual. Because I know the automatic is nice and sort of lovely to cruise around with, but I want to know what the manual feels like because if you're an enthusiast on a budget but you still want an SUV because your family wants you to buy one exactly what I'm going through you are probably going to end up with one of these a 1 litre manual still got the turbo still 115 horsepower so let's answer that big question fun to drive yes or no and is it livable or should you spend that a little bit more and get the 1.5 or get the automatic Now, before we start, here's a quick little bit. This is the manual 1.0-litre top-line variant, which is packed to the absolute gills. On the outside, it gets all the well-placed chrome, those nice LED headlamps and the tail lamps that I personally think looks absolutely superb. And you also get 17-inch wheels. And 17s on your car is the equivalent to a rapper's bling. It gives you that extra street cred. In fact, it looks exactly like the top-spec model, which costs well over a few lakhs more than this. On the inside, you get all the tech you need too. An absolutely brilliant infotainment screen, probably the best in class in terms of user interface, quality of screen itself, and the general crispness of it all. And you also get the digital instrument cluster. And you get cool seats to warm your bum, although they can get a little bit noisy sometimes. And a sunroof. And six airbags. I wasn't kidding when I said load it to the gills. Also, if you are a thoroughbred enthusiast, wait till the end because I might have something that might excite you because this could be your ultimate sleeper car. Okay, now for this video, I decided to do things a little differently, which is why I've been driving this car around for about for what 600 kilometers now over the weekend. And I wanted to really get a hold of how this car really drives. So I went and belted it on the highway. I went and took it to some absolutely unknown trails and roads. Uh, even took it off-road a little bit. And I have now come to a conclusion. And that conclusion is pretty much simple. No, this is not the end of the video. I know it seems like it, but it isn't. My conclusion is that the 1-litre turbo engine is a damn masterpiece. Now, we know it is brilliant to drive in the Polo, but even in this much larger, much bigger, much heavier car, the 1.0-litre turbo engine is still so much bloody fun. Look, leave it in second and you can potter around the city all day long, or third, well, if you want to be a little more fuel efficient, and not get on the turbo immediately like I do and I love doing. But overall, in the city, let's talk about city first, okay? Overall, in the city, more than enough you will keep up with everything around you even faster cars even the 1.5 and if you find that little gap you can dart through it now i particularly like how the engine revs all the way up to six and a half thousand rpm because most modern engines sort of don't do that anymore do they but uh, this one does and does really well yes it's a little bit noisy and you might find a little scruffy on that higher end with the noise but overall you know what this is a slightly more enthusiast oriented car as compared to its sibling the Kushak and a lot of people won't really mind that slightly more noise or slightly more engine noise in general when they push the car because if you're pushing the car at the end of the day you are going to be somebody who likes driving you want to be in that mid or higher end of the torque range or of the rev range and uh, you just want to have a little bit of fun, right? And the Tygoon delivers every single time. 
Our SUVs engine undergo a lot of stress both in city driving and on tough terrains, particularly during warm-up, in stop-start traffic and of course while carrying heavy loads. Ordinary car oils may not be enough for your SUV and that is why we recommend fully synthetic Castrol Magnetic SUV for superior protection. Look, I've been driving now this car for the last few days and uh, all I can think of is calling VW again and saying, look, guys, I'm going to disappear with this car. <laughs> You're going to have to find me somehow, ping the car somewhere, because I really don't feel like giving this back. Of course, I did want to stretch the Tycoon's legs just a little bit like I wasn't doing that all weekend long anyways. So we found ourselves one of my favourite roads in the world, the Mumbai Pune Expressway and went for it. Now when we did the Kushak 1 litre review a couple of weeks ago, I said that the automatic was a better gearbox option for that car and a lot of you thought that I had gone senile and lost my petrol headedness but I stand by what I said that is the better gearbox for that car for this one though I think the manual is nicer why at the end of the day they're the same platform but this has a little bit more attention to detail given to the way the chassis is the way the car handles it is a little bit stiffer it's a more of a driver's car than the Kushak is which is more comfortable more family oriented in general so this you have a little bit more fun with with the manual gearbox now we're on the highway and you do get this inner sense of lack of power with just 115 horsepower on tap but that's where the manual gearbox really comes into play you, know, you can put it down into second or third when you want it to especially when climbing up like slopes or guts stuff like that and you can really make it dance to what you want it to be it is a great great chassis and this is less power for this chassis it's less power than the chassis can handle but that means you can have a lot more fun it puts a big massive smile on my face and for that reason and for that reason alone it gets my big thumbs up of approval okay then enough faff and enough fun let me get to the point so, should you buy one? Well, that's the question that obviously a lot of people have asked us and that's the answer that you guys are watching this video for. And I would, I personally, if I had to buy a car for the family, which is going to be an occasional long distance trip car, an occasional car that I'm going to drive and have some fun with, I would buy this. Look, at the end of the day, this is under 15 lakh rupees X showroom. So it's about what, 16 and a half, 17 on road. And for that kind of money, this is a damn good package. I mean, it gives you all the stuff that you really want. Very solid feeling car. And on the outside, it looks as, as expensive or as, well, identical as the more expensive GT version. It is a car that looks more expensive than it actually is. So it's got a lot of boxes ticked off. Even though this is the entry level version in terms of engine and gearbox package, this is a great, great variant to go and buy. So, what do you think? Automatic manual 1.5, automatic manual in that. Tell us in the comment section below. And as always, subscribe, hit the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in our next video. Okay fellows, like I promised, this is a little sneaky peeky for the N2 Cutlet in you. Now this 1 litre is actually super super tunable and can take huge amounts of power on stock internals. How much? I am told as much as 180 horsepower safely without things breaking. So you can get one of these. Trick it out with bits from APR or Revo or whoever makes them and then humiliate everyone at a stoplight or at the drag races. Sounds like fun, doesn't it? Also, it might scare your family just a little bit, but well, that extra poke under your right foot is worth it.